Thank you everyone for joining today's session. Uh, I am Ravi Pithawala, pre-sales consultant. I am handling Barakuda for the Middle East region except Saudi. So today we are going to talk about the securing your web application during the COVID-19 crisis. So if you have any questions, you can uh, put that into question and answer field. And once the session is over, I will answer all of the questions. So let's get started. So as we went into this uh, situation, what we have seen is a uh, increase of a traffic into companies application because it's a new normal. Everyone was uh, working from home or working from remote. And there was a huge surge into the traffic of the company's critical application overnight. And of course, nobody predicted this kind of situation and their current infrastructure could not handle that much of load. And the more issue is that if it's on premise, then it is almost impossible to scale this in the current situation. Because even if you need a new hardware, who was going to provide it? Because all the supply chain was also at halt. So the company who already adopted the cloud they were actually lucky enough to scale out the their infrastructure within a few minutes and what we have seen is all different kind of attacks onto the different government agency we have already done a session on the email threat landscape last week you can go ahead on our youtube channel and watch that as well what hackers is actually doing to get into the network so there are multiple ways by, by which they can get into the network. And these are the headlines that you might have seen as well. So the, what, what are the things that is most important right now is, of course, the remote access, uh, email, then your data and web app. So these are the things which is most important right now. And what we are going to discuss is the web application. As we went into a new normal of work from home and also now the it's resuming to the normal work, but there is a fear among the many of uh, organization of the second wave of this uh, pandemic. And there are different or research company who has already published the report on what government will do to tackle those kind of situation. So the most important thing is that if there was, there is any second wave is coming. So again, they will move back to the complete lockdown and work from home will be the new normal. Just pray, I'm praying that it will not happen, but this is a prediction of most of the organization. And now to tackle that, they have already published their application online so that employee can access it without VPN. Because again, VPN is a, a solution which needs to be managed by the IT team. You need to educate the user. So other organization went online for their applications. And more and more e-commerce business is also growing into the different field. And they also need to scale out to cater all the user demand. You can take the example of grocery itself that in this situation nobody wants to go to the supermarket and want to buy the product you can directly online put the order online and get it at your store wherever whenever you want so e-commerce website is also right uh, growing and they need to scale their infrastructure in this critical time so how do you protect it more important for a small and medium organization to protect their website it's really critical because they are very e easy target for the hackers because they don't have a full-fledged it security team who can manage their it infrastructure and if you need to protect this kind of uh, applications you will require a web application firewall uh, you cannot rely on only firewall and IPS that we are going to discuss in detail. So some of the best practices for the scaling is to adopt the cloud. You can easily host your website on any of the cloud vendor right now, Azure, AWS, Google, Alibaba, Oracle. There are multiple clouds vendor. And you can opt for the pay-as-you-go model so that you don't have to pay in advance. You pay as you use it. And... Once you do that, more important thing is to protect it because it's going to be available online and it can be accessed from anywhere. And there are different way by which we can protect it. And there are best practices as well. 
and one of the practice is to uh, of course to provide a faster access to your application is to use the cdn technology content delivery network uh, that is available from the different vendor like aws and azure and barracuda which supports both azure and aws cdn so you can use our web application firewall so that your application access will be faster because when you provide a protection that is the concept or the, the back of the mind of any it team that the access will be slow but with the use of cdn and you can integrate our barracuda it will remain smooth also on top of that you need to provide a ddos protection and advanced bot protection so why there is the need for web application firewall so as you can see on the right side of the table so this is the reason so many leading fortune 500 companies and industry experts have concluded that application firewall are now mandatory and in today's world where we are right now it is even mandatory for small and medium customer as well it's not only going to protect your applications with the firewall or ips ideas you might have the as a as you can see on the table cookie poisoning cross site scripting as a ips you might have the signature of that but again it's a known signature and hacker are very smart today's in they are always one step ahead than you so they are not going to uh, launch an attack using the well-known signature uh, so for that you need a mechanism which is adaptive and by by adaptive means you can use the application firewall which will understand the traffic uh, at layer 7 and provide you the protection it's not only based on the signature but it's uh, based on the learning method and so on there are different different method of the application threat uh, that is like injection attack sql injection parameter tampering i have not included everyone everything but these are the some of the top attacks that you can uh, do on an application at layer 7 and ips and ids and firewall is not going to enough to provide you protection again you have the chance to fix your code of your web server if any of this threat is there on your application but it will take a lot of time it will be difficult and it will be a resource consume uh, resource consuming as well so the conclusion is uh, you need to uh, have something at a perimeter that blocks attack before they get to your application uh, you can see it's a extension of defense in depth and it has to be protective it must block all the attack before they are known and not reactive chase like uh, on reactive chase of a hacker by waiting for the signature and then protect it because signature based product will never be able to solve all this problem what you can see on your screen so what's needed is the layer 7 firewall so before we go to that i'll just give you the one of the information about the one of the top attack that is there on the OWASP top 10 list from 2010 to 2017. So what is the OWASP? It's a open web application security project. It's a non-profit uh, foundation that works to improve the security of a software. So you can say uh, it's, uh, there is no profit involved. They just published uh, some of the threat and help you to protect your application and one of the top application attack is the sql injection uh, you might have seen a different web page where they ask you for the in information and uh, you provide it and you can submit it you can upload your data to the website or you can get the information from the website by different different form so what attacker do they use the L sql injection into this and instead of sending a normal data they send a sql query or a command and forward it to your application so if your application will if it's not configured properly it will not understand that it's attack and it will forward it to the database in the sql query you might send a information uh, as a sql that select star uh, account from admin from the 
table and you might get all the information of the admin for the specific website so database uh, when they get the query they just run whatever query they have and send the encrypted result back to the application once the applicant has it it will forward it to the user so again this is a very common method and there are different ways by which you can perform a sql injection and the fun fact uh, here is that uh, sql you might have heard about the sony picture hack of 2014 yes uh, i'm talking about when they uh, not suspected north korean or hacker gain access of a confession confin, confin, very sensitive data and according to us cert the attacker used a server message block worm tool to install a several malicious component including a backdoor and other destructive tool an sql injection was leveraging in this famous uh, sony picture hack story so this is one of the top method you can go ahead on this website oops.org and find what are the top 10 threads that is uh, right now in the uh, current uh, industry and you can get more information of that so as we mentioned you need a web application firewall to protect against the layer 7 attack so barracuda web application firewall does that and it does this by intercepting all traffic whether it's incoming or outgoing and we do that by inspecting it before uh, attacks actually occur before it reaches to your server and we recognize all kind of obstruct, uh, different kind of uh, unwanted traffic and restrict the uh, restrict it and allow the set of input that is only valid to the web server and there are two model model is there one is positive security model and second one is negative security model and by this uh, it protects your site from all zero day attack as well it protect all your custom code as well as third party code and then you can focus on your business not on the security of your application so inbound protection it's a comprehensive application security uh, it provide attacks uh, protection against all the OFs top 10 on top of that you get an application ddos attack as well proactive defense by you will get an application clocking and GIP control so GIP control is based on the specific country you can block the traffic if you don't want uh, your application to be published on your specific country you cannot of course control it but you can block it using the gip control application clocking we are going to be i have one slide for that what is application clocking we are going to discuss about it but it is uh, not only about inbound it is also important to inspect the outbound traffic so that you don't reveal the sensitive information like credit card number social security number and you on top of that you can put a custom parameter if your application has any specific custom parameter so barracuda web application firewall uh, not only provides a superior protection against the dlp ddos and all the known application layer attack but also provide the protection with automatic updates as the new threat appear so as soon as there is a new threat type of threat emerge it will acquire a capability new capability to block them using our update server and this is a barracuda web architecture high level architecture of the barracuda web by which you get a protection so this is as i mentioned from barracuda application firewall it gets update from barracuda update server which we call energize update so all the policy definition security updates attack definition whatever is there you get update from our update server on top of that whenever there is a any client try to access anything first and first more uh, defense system is the protocol protocol validation so if you have published http website or https website so based on the, that protocol we will validate whether that whatever traffic is requesting is following the uh, validation of the protocol it will check the different different parameter and then only we will allow it and then if you have uh, offload the 
encrypted traffic that means ssl offloading yes you can do that on the barracuda web application firewall so we will decrypt it and then we will forward it to the server and when the server respond it we will again encrypt provide the encryption and forward it to the client so if you don't want anything to uh anything like uh, encryption and decryption servers to get done on the web server you can do it on the barracuda web application firewall then we have the data normalization so that is again regarding the url normalization and after that you will have the authentication and authorization full fledged functionality of that then traffic inspection and security checks and lastly load balancing yes you get load balancer in barracuda web as well and based on the different different criteria you can load balance the traffic to a different server so it provides barracuda web application firewall provides a feature to implement the user uh, authentication and access control your the user login form uh, it must be accessible to all the user but need not to reside on the backend server here barracuda web application firewall it include a default login form that can be used instead of creating your own login page the user submits the form and barracuda web application firewall compares the uh, submitted information against either externally located authentication server or you can have the local database of the username and password and if it's successful uh, we will allow access to the backend server so you can offload your authentication as well and this is the different security policy so you, there are total nine sub policies security policies by which you get a protection starting from the request limit uh, url normalization cookie security then you have the access control list url protection so on top you can see it's inbound and on the bottom you can see it's outbound so it's really important to provide a protection for the outbound data as well so what are the outbound protection that we offer uh, of course we have the deep inspection to block the content for the outbound traffic and the most important thing here is the data theft protection which prevent unauthorized disclosure of a confidential information uh, you can configure a data theft protection in barracuda you can specify any risk elemental uh, risk elements handled by a web application firewall or by using our different parameter that is available in the policy uh, and you can enable the protection of this element where needed using a policy it's not necessary to uh, provide outbound protection for all the url in the web page you can have the outbound protection for specific url so sensitive data uh, like credit card and so on requires the masking to prevent their unauthorized disclosure or a request a containing a sensitive data it may be blocked altogether in barracuda uh, we can configure any sensitive data element which may need to protect along with the desired way to handle them and the most important is to credit card and security uh, uh, social security number which is available default and you can block the response from the server for any of this data on top of that you can clock that means you can hide the information and override with a different character based on the parameter that you set and if you have any other sensitive information you can create a custom pattern for that as well so as i mentioned we can clock this information as well so what is a clocking so this is one of the first task that hacker does a reconciliation scan of a network to find the weaknesses they try to get information about what web server you are using what database server you are using how many application servers you have what is the version of it what what is the patch that you apply and then they can find any known vulnerability on to that uh, specific server information that they got so what we can do with the clocking it allows an enterprise web resources invisible to the hackers and worms and bots we can hide all the error codes if they try to get the information of that all the http header and ip addresses information all the thing we can hide using the clock 
so this is how it works uh, you can see here attacker it tried to get the information about page 4.html or uh, web server we forward it to the application server and application server responded i have not found this so what it hacker is trying to do here is just trying to get the information about all the website and you can see site website uh, directory information that how many pages is there so here the information and the code is 440 but we can replace that code by zero and redirect that uh, page whenever user try to access it to the default page so that hacker will not be able to get the information whether this page actually exists or not and this is how we can actually hide the information about the websites and all the other thing uh, again a uh, protection against the application ddos is one of the most important thing in today's world because there are different way by which a hacker can launch an attack to your application and make your application inaccessible to a genuine user we can do it by the ip reputation uh, anonymous proxy we have the blacklisted ip address information that you can just use it to block the traffic if it's originating from that uh, so we have the mechanism to identify the bot and then when we identify it we can use the google recaptcha so that the user has to provide the recaptcha information and validate it then only we will allow the traffic to the server so we can challenge the captcha for the suspicious client as well so we have also roll out a new mechanism to check whether the client that is trying to connect to the web application is real person or a application from a browser whether it's an automated program trying to access it so that is a client fingerprinting and on top of that we can use the captcha then slow client attack prevention there are some tools used by the hacker to slow down the communication between the client and server the aim to drain out all resources from the server again is kind of ddos attack we monitor the traffic and apply specific heuristic uh, to detect such attack and block out bad client so this is how we can protect against the ddos attack so on top of this uh, the security mechanism that we have discussed you also have additional services like barracuda advanced threat protection again it's a license based service then barracuda active ddos protection then barracuda vulnerability management i'm going to discuss it's it's not paid it's free then barracuda vulnerability remediation service again you get it free in the for barracuda customer and on top of that uh, you have barracuda web control center that means if you have a a uh, different location across a different country where you need to install the web application firewall and it will be very difficult to manage it from each center each different location so everything can be managed using a barracuda web control where it is all the policies that you configure you can push it across you can uh, all the devices at the same time you can push the template you can take the configuration backup everything from one central location it's again it's a cloud based and uh, as a vm it's available so let's talk about the barracuda vulnerability manager i'm uh, switching a direction bit here so unlike the other services that is paid this is uh, available as free and this can uh, deal with the web application so i mean free means any customer can use it regardless whether it is using barracuda or not this is the link bvm.barakudanetworks.com you can go there put your application or website name the uh, validate it whether you own it or not and then you can find all the vulnerability so a web application uh, is anything that a uh, uses uh, or it is accessible th- from the internet uh, so this is what you can use for anything which is accessible you can get all the information about that applications whether it's vulnerable or not and what all the firewall do as i say yes i am have what firewall do it's it will just forward your web traffic to your web server that's it so any customer who is not using any web application firewall this is the tool that you need to use it and you can find 
whether it's your firewall, which you believe it's providing a protection, is actually doing it or not. And it will help you to decide whether or not you might need a web and what vulnerability your web application are currently exposed to. I will give you the demo for that as well, a small demo for how you can use it. And this is the report. Again, uh, we'll discuss in detail for this report, how to uh, interpret this report and how it is useful when we do the demo. So moving on, Barracuda Vulnerability Remediation Service. Again, it's a free of cost right now for all the Barracuda customer who is using a WEF. So again, WEF is uh, it's very sophisticated product and it's incredibly important in securing your web thread actor. Uh, so Barracuda WEF actually moved to simplify the web. Uh, we understand that this product can be used for company that range for SMB all the way to the enterprise organization. And because of that, there is certain set of feature and function that we have simplified. Now this feature and function, it includes the installation and initial configuration of the web application firewall as well. And Barracuda vulnerability remediation service is a feature that is on the web. Once you purchase the web, the first step, of course, is to install it, give it the IP address. The second one is to configure your application, much like you can do with any other security vendor. Uh, vendor. Uh, then you can configure the security policy to protect it. Uh, but here in web, uh, if you have used the Barracuda Vulnerability Manager, you can scan your web application and find any vulnerability that is exposed. So now what we have done, we have made it extremely easy to turn that uh, report which you get in Vulnerability Manager into active configuration with a click of one button. Yes. So what you will do is after you complete the scan, your, you can automatically remediate it. That means you can uh, integrate your web with the remediation service and it will automatically configure a new policy to provide a protection to your web vulnerability. So you can say that it's a kind of virtual patching as well. So this is what you can do into the web. So here's the process. Uh, you can scan the application and find the vulnerability. And then what we can do, we can connect the Barracuda to the web application firewall. So we have a bar cloud control center where you can integrate your Barracuda web application firewall and remediation service. So when you do the scan, find the vulnerability. This is what you need to do. You need to connect both applications to the same control center. And once you do that, you can mitigate all the vulnerability using one click only into the remediation service. So I will show you the demo for that as well. So this is what the remediation is done and it can be automatic. You don't have to go to the web and configure the very tedious or lengthy rule to protect your web application firewall. Identity and access management, it is again a very important aspect of the organization web application to provide a protection. So Barracuda, uh, you can offload your authentication on the Barracuda. You can use the single sign-on as well for the applications. There is a different reporting page available, separate page for the authentication. And on top of that, you can integrate a two-factor authentication for any of your web application. So what I mean is, uh, instead of uh, using, a, let's say you have one website, or take an uh, take a example of uh, Amazon.com or uh, Noon.com, where you provide your username and password. So once you do that, it will authorize this what uh, what kind of order you have done. So this is what authorization is based on your uh, identity. So all this thing that you have done for the authentication, you can do it on the Barracuda. You can offload that on the Barracuda. You can integrate a LDAP server. You can integrate a SAML authentication. You can integrate the so two-factor authentication like a RSS security and so on. You can do it via SMS authentication, OTP client certificate as well on top of the normal authentication. And then what we will do when user try to access that, we will verify with with any external server, maybe it's LDAP, Radius, or uh, Active Directory, whatever you have. 
that you have done the integration with your application server. And with single sign-on, it's a mechanism where a single set of user credential is used for authentication and authorization to access multiple applications across different web servers and platform without having to re-authenticate. So that means uh, for each uh, domain, a single domain, you don't, if there are multiple uh, way to authorize it, you don't have to provide a username and password again and again. You can enable the single sign-on for a single domain and that is how you get single sign-on. And uh, SSO system, uh, again, it's X as a web gate for all the inbound web traffic. When user initially attempt to access the website and Barracuda takes care of all the authentication. And same way you can do it for the uh, multi, multi domain website as well instead of only a single domain. Uh, this is uh, acceleration and load balancing that you get. So again, if you have a Barracuda web application firewall, you get an inbuilt load balancing. You can have the round robin method and different load balancing method to load balance the traffic. On top of that, you can do the SSL offloading. That means if your web server is running on HTTP, in today's world, it's uh, no guess that you do cannot uh, run your application on HTTP and you don't want to do it on your web server, you can do it on the Barracuda web application firewall. So you can offload the SSL onto the Barracuda. On top of that, you have content routing, HTTP caching, and so on. And most importantly, we have the compression method as well. So by which we can accelerate the response to the user. So all this feature which we have discussed, it's get automatic security updates from our Barracuda update server. It's in real time. You have the sandbox technology. On top of that, you have the intent analysis, uh, fingerprinting of the different different client. We have the Barracuda uh, reputation for the blacklisted IP address. And we have done the deployment for more than 150,000 customers in different different countries. And we get a response of, of in, in information for the fast response from the emerging threat for not only from this web application for, for, for other different product that we have. And all the product, it gets the update in the real time. What we call is a Barracuda Energize update. On top of that, you get detailed logs and reporting into the web. On, you can integrate with any SIM leading SIM solution like Arcsight, Splunk, RSA, and so on. So what you get is an all-in-one platform. You get a security, you get a, a all the web layer seven security, then DDoS protection as well as advanced bot protection. Authentication is there. You have the session persistent. That means you can do the load balancing based on the session as well. Yes, that which is network load balance and doesn't do, which we can do. You have the full logging and reporting capability. And on top of that, you get uh, performance acceleration, which is very important because if a security is a, a reason why your speed is slow, then it is not. it will not be acceptable, acceptable by most of the customers. So you get a performance acceleration in the Barracuda as well. And when we say that, what is the third party analysis that are saying so NSS lab, uh, we get a highest security effectiveness around 99.97 for our Barracuda fire, web firewall for 960, which has blocked around this much of percentage of attack. And this is the report available on their website as well. So you can go ahead and check on the NSS lab result as well for the web application firewall. And this is the model that we have. So mostly all the model contains all the features except uh, 360 and 460, which is a low level model. So it does not, for example, does not have the active active HA, uh, 360 and 460. Again, caching requires a hard disk and uh, you know, huge RAM, which again, it is for static pages. So it's, it is not available in 360, but from 660 towards 1060, you have all the feature sets in the Barracuda. And this is the hardware model comparison, but we not only support the hardware, we support the 
VM environment, virtual environment. We support all the cloud leader, leading cloud platform as well, like a Google, Microsoft, Azure, AWS. And on top of that, we are providing WAF as a service as well. And so if any of your customer does not want to uh, manage anything and they just want to use it as a service, yes, you can opt for the, our uh, WAFs as a service as well. Uh, so this is about the deployment environment. So on top of that, I will be going to show you the demo for the Barracuda web application firewall. So here's a web.barracuda.com. This is the link by which you can go. This username is guest and password is blank. So I'll just do it for you again. Let me see. Yeah, so this is the link. You just provide the guest as a username. Then you can log in into the our web page. First is the dashboard. So here's the information about the attack origins, which is really useful by which you can configure the geolocation policy. For example, if you see here, which is this country, it's uh, here is, for example, New Zealand. So if you identify that you're getting attack from a specific country from where you don't need to publish your website, you can directly after that configure the geo uh, IP location policy. This is a performance statistic, uh, system load, firmware storage, and so on, cluster, whether it's a HS configure, how many services we have configured and how many is up and down. Uh, this is a subscription information. This is active DDoS bot protection subscription, which is separate and ATP subscription. And here is the most important thing, which is the attacks. So these are the different attacks you can click here and find the information that how many attacks has occur for each specific application. And if you click, for example, SQL injection, it will give you the information about that attack only, that when it has occur and what is the time that has been occur. Mm, this is again, a more information about the devices, total bandwidth, memory utilization and so on. Uh, so this is about the web. You can go ahead and check out this uh, demo. What I was uh, telling you is the Barracuda Vulnerability Manager. So this is the page where you can, this is again, it's a free of cost for any customer. You don't need to buy Barracuda Vulnerability Manager. It's free of cost for any of your customer by which you can actually do the scanning. For example, let me just uh, do the refresh. So what I have done here, uh, I have logged in here. Let me just first sign. So this is the page. You can create an account if you don't have, and then you can log in or you can go ahead and check the demo as well. So before showing a demo, I will show you what I have done. So I have already added one application. You can scan your website. You can give the name as a web. For example, you can give any name. What is the URL that you want to give? So this is the URL that you own, your companies that has this URL which you have published online. Because if you, for example, if I do that, it will ask you for the verification. It, you can do the verification by email. You can do it by the file that you need to upload into the web server. There's a meta tag. You can again need to do it into the website or you can do it the txt record. You can publish the txt record. So this is the way by which you can verify your website. So this is just as the security manager that we are doing the scanning of your website and you have authorized us to do that. So this is the main reason. So once you do that, uh, you need to provide the specific information, start scan immediately. Or at this time, you can get a report on this and specific information. So I have already done this for a website. So Again, it's a Barracuda website that they are providing it as a demo. So what I will give you show is a demo account. So in demo account, they have already done a specific active scan and there is a finished scan as well. So this is the information that you get. For example, you can see here, this is the vulnerability that they have found out. You can download the report, view the report, or you can copy the action as well. So for example, if I click on report here, you can see this is 10, one is high 
four is medium and five is low vulnerability that we have found and you can click view by getting all the information so what is the first uh, OS 10 whether it's following PCI DDS compliance is following so we can see that we have found the issues and this is the detail and this is the platform that we have detected on this specific website and this is the known vulnerable web server for which we have identified high severity you can click on this and you need to get a specific information that upgrade to the latest version of your web server so whatever web server you are using you need to upgrade it to that and all this different different vulnerability that we have and you get a issue background and issue remediation so this is what you can do for your customer and you can get the report and you can download even download it this specific report and then of course you can take the help of me to actually interpret this report so that we can present it to your customer and this is how we can show this report to the customer that this is the vulnerability that you have if you think that your existing web application firewall or your ips and firewall is enough to provide a protection this is where you are not secure and same way we can do the setting on so again this is only to get the information it's an informative tool it's not a, a remediation service where you can do the remediation is into the barracuda vulnerability remediation service and this is the link vrs.barracudanetworks.com and you can add a different different application here to provide a protection so what we can do here the same way you can give the name as web and web application firewall name again this is the one which we need to do Here is a vulnerability manager. Here's the web application name. And you can, same way, you can verify it by email, file, and TXT recorder, meta tag. And on top of that, here's the most important thing is the Barracuda web for the mitigation. Vulnerability on this can application can automatically mitigate using a Barracuda web. And select the web and service that protect this application. So you've already configured if barracuda web to provide a protection against the threat then you can choose the remediation service and you can choose the service and the barracuda web when you do the scanning on a remediation remediation service and this is where you will get the vulnerability information actually there is no vulnerability has been found so i will log in into the Again, a demo account. So this is the different web server that they have configured. You can see this one is not been verified. So that's why it's creating a symbol of the triangle. It's not configured. And this is where you will find the vulnerability. You can select the view. And then after that, here it will not show you because it's a demo account. Here you can see mitigate on web in either passive mode or active mode. So in passive mode, it will uh only logs the traffic for the violation it will not block the traffic in active mode it will block the traffic as well as log the traffic so this is what you can do by mitigating mitigation using the barracuda vulnerability remediation service and again this one is free of cost any customer can use it and this one all the barracuda web customer they will get as a free of cost so this is what you will get it so this is from my side if you have any questions i'll happy to answer okay thank you guys for the today's session uh, now you can find the videos on our youtube portal as well they will upload it and i have already shared my email address with you so any questions related to barracuda web for any barracuda product you can reach out to me directly thank you very much